Hey everyone, welcome to my Crete Greece vlog. I'm here on a anniversary trip with my boyfriend and I thought I'd just do this video to help others in terms of things to see and do in Crete. So I thought I'd help you guys out as well and take you along as well on the things that we're gonna do. Um, we got here yesterday, so um, it's actually a whole day later. We got here around about around 3 p.m. We landed in Heraklion, which is their capital city. But we're not actually staying in Heraklion. We're staying near Hanya, about 15 minutes out of Hanya, which is like more of the touristy side of things. It's more got like traditional historical stuff. So this is where we kind of base ourselves. We check into our hotel. Um, I'll insert some clips of the hotel. It's very lovely. It's got really nice views. Um, but we couldn't really do a lot because we arrived a bit later, like half six. And um, we just basically got ready to go to dinner. And I found this really amazing place on TripAdvisor, um, which said it had really good views, good service, and good food. So we checked it out and it was everything. The view was insane, the waitress, waiters were really, really, really lovely. Um, so yeah, it was a good first night. So we're now um, on our first full day. Um, we just woke up, had breakfast. Um, just your generic hotel breakfast. We went for um, a swim already. Um, it's so hot, I think it's around 33 degrees. And we we didn't play the sunbed war game, so we had like a sunbed that didn't have an umbrella. So we are literally burnt. Like I already have tan lines from only being outside for about an hour. So we spent a lot of the time in the water and just enjoying. And now we went back into the room and we are just getting ready. And then we're gonna drive down to Hanya and I'll show you guys what's there. I don't want to give false information, <laughs> but I think it's good. Is cheese. that cheese? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's your review of Satan and Lemon? Out of 10. 6.5. 6.5. 
I was thinking about it on the way here, but I think it's just six as well. Why six? I think probably because the water wasn't like blue. Yeah, I think we got a bit unlucky because like in all the pictures and all the videos that I've seen, like online of people that I know that have been here, the water here is normally blue, but like it's like really murky brown. And we bought like snorkeling stuff <laughs> so <laughs> we could <laughs> see. <laughs> we bought this for this beach, but the water is hella manky. It's really unclear. And the waves are too mad, okay. so it ain't happening today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. and the goats. Yeah, so the, the goats goat. are really cute to begin with, but I knew they were gonna be a hassle because I watched like um, videos, and they're really cute initially. But then as soon as you have food, they just come for you. Or like if you're chewing, like you are right now, mm -hmm. they'd know that there's food around and come to. They come really close. They're nah, like nah. they're not scared. How about the path to go down? The path to go down, um, I think it's alright for me. Mm. Like, I don't know, it's because we're relatively young, but like, everyone kept saying like, oh, bring good shoes, good shoes. Like, but I did, we did it in sandals no, and flip flops. Yeah, you to get here, you could de you definitely need a car. There's like a little parking bit around here, just before you go to the bottom. And I don't think you have to pay, because we didn't pay, but we, we. There's definitely space. It's like 40 minutes from home. Yeah, just about under 40 minutes. Mm. So if you're staying in Hanya, then obviously come here and I hope you have a better time in and terms of yeah, <laughs> in terms of the water. And it's just have. not as pretty as we thought it would be. Well yeah. Well we I still had fun. Yeah, it's still fun. Mm. Uh, <laughs> okay, fun. we're going for dinner now. Let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, we just had dinner, so we just came to the harbour side quickly just to see what it's like at night. We haven't seen it at night, but it's kind of scary tonight because it's really high tide. The waves are mad, yeah. The waves are madness. So madness. we didn't really, not going to stay there very long, and the wind's kind of like cold. Oh, for me it's nice. I like it. It's a nice breeze, but it's like cold for for Greece. <laughs> dinner now we obviously came back from Balos but we're gonna review our experience so out of 10 again out of them I'll give it 8.5 we think alike yeah are you thought of something yeah when we were driving back I thought 8.5 I think it's really good. It's obviously pretty, like it's as the pictures show. The water is amazing, it's really blue, it's clear. And I didn't expect there was pink sand there. I only heard that it was an elephant but then there's actually a lot of pink sand there. So I was surprised by that. But the only thing is, it's just so windy there. Your stuff gets blown away, sand gets everywhere. And literally like when the wind blows, the sand like literally hits you and it's like ah oh, it hurts it hurts so bad but like if you get into the water the water temperature is absolutely fine it's actually quite warm and nice but if you get up but once you gets, get out and the wind really yeah and the wind is so strong it gets super cold really quickly there was some really a lot of people down there a guy would come up to you and ask you to pay them like 10 euros for two beds and then to enter you pay one euro each at the start. There's like a like a little booth, 
and then when you get to the very end of the parking, the parking is two, two euro euros per, car. per car. So all in all, for us, it's like four, four euros. euros. The way down. I mean, on the way down, it's always easier. It probably takes 10, 15 minutes on the way down, but on the way up. 20 minutes. But if you got loads of stuff with you, especially to those titos and titos that, that likes like bringing baon foods. Yeah, if you're a Filipino tita and tita, don't do it here. <laughs> don't do it here. Don't be a tita and tita here. <laughs> Pack lightly, but the view, I have to say, is still worth it. So you still have to definitely come. But 8.5. 8.5. I agree. 8.5. We made it to Lutro Beach. The journey to get here is an ordeal in itself. It took us like a two hour drive from our hotel in Hanya. So the roads are really windy and quite scary and there's not a lot of rails on the side. So yeah, it really took two hours. And then we thought at the end of this journey, we would arrive. But actually no, this beach that we wanted to go to is like another 20 minute walk away from where you park the car. And to be fair, that place, there isn't really a lot of parking either. We got a bit lucky and there was like one, literally one last space left. So we parked there and you kind of have to, it's like a weird route. You walk through this restaurant and you walk to this path. It says 20 minutes, but it feels a lot longer because it's uphill and it's hot in Greece at the moment. So literally a whole sweat journey to get here. But this little beach hide thing i would say it's worth it the water looks so clear there's a lot of restaurants on the side so it's not like you'll go hungry or anything so yeah we just decided last minute yesterday to come here um but it's looking like it's a good decision despite sweating like mad Walking back now to where we parked the car. Um, there's two ways you can get here really. There's the mountainous path that we took earlier to get here, or this path, which is really more chill and there's an actual path. Earlier it was just proper like rocky roads. You could actually get lost if you're not really paying attention to the path on the way here. Because apparently the first path, the mountainous path is a shortcut. So if you're like in a hurry to get to the beach and you know have a good time, I would definitely say do that. But and then on the way back when you're tired, take this more scenic path and just be real chill on the way back. And there's some nice views, there's like a cafe and there's like churches and stuff on the way. So yeah. Alright. Made it back to the car. Like I said, we took that more scenic route and said 19 minutes on Google Maps and it feels like that. So what's your review of Lutro out of 10? 10? Yeah. I know what you're gonna say. 9. 9? I was gonna say 9.5. 9.5 9 for me, 9 for you. Yeah. It's very lovely. Wow. The water is so blue, so clear. It's great for snorkeling. Honestly, we <laughs> spent so much time Three hours for just snorkeling. It's so beautiful. There's so many fishes underneath. And it's very mild water. It is not like, if you're a beginner snorkeler, it's really good for you to do it there. It's like, it doesn't get deep all of a sudden out of nowhere. It's just very nice, especially the area that we chose towards the end of Lutro. It seems a bit more like shallowish. And it's really hard to access it. There's no like actual car path. You have to either walk, like I said, or take the ferry. 
I would definitely come back if we had more time. I prefer this one than Balos. Balos is definitely pretty for the aesthetics, but if you're gonna have like enjoy your time in the water, then I would say Lutro is better to go. Lutro. Town. They have their own Venetian harbor here. It's not as big as Hanya, but it's still quite pretty. We've done some souvenir shopping here because we're unfortunately close to the end of our trip. Um, so we've just bought some stuff and now we are at the fortress, Forteza. It's called. Um, we strategically left it to the end of the day. We came here about 6 ish because Everything that I read is that there's no shade here and today earlier was so hot. So now we have a nice breeze and then the sun is in a strong. Um, you do have to pay to get in though. So you have to pay four euros per person to get in. Um, so yeah, we're just having an explore. You get like a little free booklet thing that tells you like all the main spots to see. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So you can you can kind of figure out what's what's here but it's essentially like ruins it's a ruin of a fortress um it's one of the main things to see at within mo um so yeah we'll have a look around and see what it's like Actually, there was just so many people on the beach that trying to get a sunbed with an umbrella was so impossible then we were left in the hot sun for about an hour and of course I got moody as I do so my boyfriend did the mostest he even sat with the staff person for ages to identify someone who was leaving and then finally as you can see here we got a little nice place with an umbrella by the water and I was a lot happier then it's around 15 euros for two sunbeds and one umbrella so you just need to be aware of that the parking is free though it's quite a big parking so i think um you'll be fine in terms of that water wise um initially it's always quite like cool and cold but once you stay in the water it you feel it's generally quite warm um snorkeling wise because that's what we wanted to do it's okay it's not the greatest to snorkel because it's generally quite shallow water there's not a lot of like rocky bits 
because obviously if it's just pure sand there's not you're not going to be able to see a lot on the water but there is there is still some rocky bits there's some fishes there he brought a freaking net he I thought he he, he broke it because he thought he was going to be able to catch some fishes but obviously not they're hella quick underwater but yeah 7.5 it's not the best i i think like if you're coming for a more like chill vibes more peaceful vibes it's not the one for you my friend it's the expectation versus reality thing the reality is really bad <laughs> and there is pink sand don't get me wrong but it's literally not a lot of pink sand it's only on the shore where the, the waves like crash by the sand and it's not like that obvious and it's not everywhere so it's not really i think balos has even better pink sand yeah but Lutro. Like, yeah Lutro is still our fame but otherwise still good still good day I would say so since Elephonisi is so hyped up in Crete you kind of almost have to go just to see it for yourself so yeah still definitely give it a go see how you like it The next day was our flight back home. We just hit up the Gyros place that we love with the Greek grandpas so that we could take the food to go because we had a two hour drive to Heraklion airport. We got there and dropped off our rental car. This was the company that we used. This was just us dropping off our keys and saying goodbye to our trusty car. Uh, we got inside the airport and we found out unfortunately that we had a hour and a half delay So we were just waiting around for most of it and then finally it was time to board the plane This was us feeling very sad because reality was sinking in that we were flying back home Overall, we had an amazing time in Crete for our anniversary We totally recommend that you guys come here and I hope that you found this video helpful and thank you for watching